Hey guys, it's me again with, wow, another video. Damn camera. Um, anyway, you'll probably notice I'm wearing the same shirt that I was wearing in the Photon video because I finished shooting that today and now I'm shooting this. So why change and try to fool you? You don't care. Anyway, um, so like I said, I'm feeling better and I wanted to do a video of, I don't think I've ever done a video of just something that I've done. I've designed, I've done anything. So I wanted to do that, but please stay tuned for a word by our sponsor. Anyway, okay, so we're back. And um, I wanted to show you guys this project. I've posted a couple of pictures on Facebook and in a couple of groups, and I don't know if anybody has seen them. Um, it's not, they weren't, none of them were complete. I literally just finished putting everything together while shooting this video, because I'm shooting it in reverse, because I did the entire thing. And now I'm gonna do this part so you can see the coolness. Um, anyway, I'm a nerd and I love Transformers, and you know it, this is Blaster. Blaster is one of my favorite Transformers. Um, 80 style boombox, I'm a musician, it, it's just a thing, I don't know. I just loved Blaster. And I thought how cool it would be if I made an actual boombox that was Blaster because that was something that they should have made 30 years ago but didn't because Hasbro is dumb. So, Here is my blaster. He doesn't transform, but he's pretty cool. Um, the only thing that really moves is the handles does go up and down. And I have it very, very tight like this for a particular reason, just so it's not easy to kind of jerk around. But it only goes up so high. And it's a little bit of work to do it. There we go. All right. So here's Blaster. He actually does have a, a Bluetooth audio board inside and some Boss speakers and all that good stuff. And here he is all together. And now I'm gonna go back to the past and I'm gonna show you guys the quick design in Fusion, not the actual design, but just the parts and how it works really quick. And then me building it. now. I may or may not have footage from a camera that I had up here because I couldn't really see the screen because it's just me. So I, I don't have anybody to do any other stuff. So I may have shot most of my floor and not a lot of the table. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see what I can salvage. Anyway, I hope you like what you see and here we go. Okay, so here we are in Fusion 360, and here is the completed model. So I did a lot of uh, mirroring on this just because it was easier to design things on one side, then mirror them over, and then make the slight modifications I needed to do. So just kind of quickly, I want to go over this with you. Um, so we've got... Uh, and I'll show you in the final prints. This Autobot logo here is a palette print, and then these uh, under speaker inserts, and then the inserts right here. These are all palette prints. So there's five of those in total. Everything else is basically printed and attached, whether it's screwed or glued or whatever, but that's how it works. So I'm just gonna knock out a whole bunch of these so you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna show you just the left side. So here's the left side. This is just the one leg um, where the speaker fits in. It's hollowed in here. These are just alignment guides to put the grills on. The on-off is only on the one side, so I added that afterwards. This is an insert for the foot piece. We've got the detail on the side, and the back is just a back piece. And if we remove the back panel, You'll see how I did this here. I basically just hollowed them out using the shell command and then added these um, little mount pieces. These are for the heat set threaded inserts that I'm gonna be using to build this guy. Holes to assemble them, <laughs> more on that video in the video later. Uh, and then what I did is I left the top open so it would be easier to print without supports and it would take a lot less time. So if you look right here, there's a groove 
and then if we remove this and we show you this piece here here's the other part of the groove that slides in and then this is where the handle will slide in from the top all right moving on i'm just going to jump over to the red section the main body so here's the main body and I designed this. Um, I, again, I, I have a printer big enough that I could have printed this all in one piece, but I opted not to, again, for the support function. Um, I could have printed this just straight up like this on one piece minus the back, but I really didn't want to because it, it literally would have taken another, like an extra kilo of red. So if I take off the back pieces, you'll basically see how I did this. This is basically split in two so I could print them this way. So this is the print orientation for this one and the other one is the opposite. So this way it prints this way and you'll see there's a much lower usage of support here because there's nothing up here to support just over here and under here. Um, same thing again holes for the heat set threaded inserts again ha, more on that in the video later um, and then these are just little tabs that kind of drop on top of each other and extra stability to screw the pieces together and then there's one little piece right here where I put an insert piece that I made that's separate that just makes it once again easier to align so it actually took me a lot longer to design all of this stuff to make it fit together and to make the pieces fit and the electronics fit in there than it did to design the actual model, which is kind of crazy to me. Uh, so these are this is a hole just for the speaker wire to run through. And then the back piece I did also split into two pieces. And then I made these little uh, tabs here that I could insert little pieces in, glue them together, make it stronger. And that's all the excitement we have there. Uh, one thing I did not show you on this one was this over here is where the audio board just screws on. These are just little standoffs that I've just printed. And then you can see that there's a hole for the power supply right there. And that's really all the excitement in here. I know it seems like it should be a lot more exciting, but it's really not. Um, it was a pretty straightforward design once I got the model done. And again, just hollowing everything out and making sure everything fit together. Um, just a little tiny bit of tolerance in certain spots, like the grooves up here. Um, really was it it was just some math and uh, i suck at math and i hate math but it was uh, easy to do with fusion so let's get to the printed pieces all right and here we are with all of the printed parts and most of the parts that we're going to be using to build this guy so i'm going to start over here so these are the two back pieces and these are the little slot in things that i said lock in here so these are going to get glued in place add a little bit more st uh, stability this is the speaker grills this is just a little connector piece that goes inside here so it's just a little bit more firm locked together and it helps me align it um, these are the two handle pieces on the sides and this is the black handle piece you can see they fit in here really easily and they're pretty forgive it. Then uh, the prints I ran on my palette were the inserts for underneath the speakers um, because I didn't want to print a bunch of pieces and snap them together. I have four palettes. I use them. Um, these are his feet that just rest right in the top part. These are the play buttons. The cassette deck door now this is also a palette print and I got a little um, overzealous and I jammed it in there because it was really you know designed to be pressure fit I jammed it in there not realizing that I had to make the video still um, so that's in there and then this is the the window 
I printed this in clear PLA plus, but I did print it with 100% infill because I didn't want it to be transparent. So I wanted it to have that kind of shiny look like it has, because if you look inside it, uh, it's there's nothing to see. So I did that. Uh, these are the body pieces. Now, I know I showed you on the video, on the screen capture, that I designed these with these little lips here. I had an issue, 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 issue um, on the prints on this side. A, uh, I had a jam on my S5. Now, um, I don't know if I said this before, but I could have printed all of these in one piece. I just chose not to because if I did, that would be so much infill, it would waste probably a kilo of uh, filament just on supports. So I did it this way so I could print them this way. Um, but yeah, so I had jam, and the jam actually happened at the most opportune time ever. It happened just at like the last layer on this side. Meaning the only issue I had but didn't print was just that little piece that comes over and locks it into place. So I'll figure something out for that. I'm not super worried about it. Um, and again, I mentioned that I didn't uh, put the holes all the way through this, this side. So I already did drill some holes. So we should be good there. Uh, these are the leg pieces. Here's the one side that does have the on off button. And you can see the back pieces and how easily they slide in. There we go. And then all these holes here, I don't think I pointed these out before, but all these holes, these are for heat set threaded inserts. So I have a, a soldering iron that has this special uh, tip on top. I'm gonna put those in there and I'll probably do that off camera. And then uh, the cool parts were, I got this pair of speakers. These are actually Boss 50 watt speakers um, that I found on Amazon. And then this board right here, so this is the entire board and this is everything you need because this is, uh, it's 50 watts per channel and it does have um, Bluetooth already on board. So you can, I've, I've already actually paired this to my phone. So I know it works because I clearly wired it up and tested it out. So it's actually really cool and I can't wait to hear what this thing sounds like when they're assembled. So. There's that. So now I'm going to start putting some stuff together. Oh, look who came to see us. Hey, come here. Oh, no, come here. Come say hi. Come here. Or just stand there. Do you want me to pick you up? Okay. Here's little baby Ty. He missed you guys too. He's feeling kind of like a, a super baby these days. I don't think he feels well either. Hey, um, can you get off the stuff? He doesn't care. Anyway, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna move some of the stuff out of the way and I'm gonna start building and doing stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab my iron and I'm gonna put in the inserts. I'm not gonna do that on camera. Um, so, or maybe I'll just show you one and then I'll do the rest off camera. Come on, Tiger. Let's go. Come on, let's go. And the best news of the day is while I was gathering up all my stuff, I found something out. I didn't size these holes properly. Go me. Anyway, I think I found a way around it. So first things first, I am going to, what am I using? M3s or M4s? M4s. So these are actually really easy to use. So all you do is, this is a special tip on the soldering iron and this is just a cheap one that I use just to use to do this. You basically just push them in. You size the holes a little bit smaller than they're supposed to be. And that's about it. Unless you, you know, follow my example and size them way, way, way too big, you won't have any problems. So this is a special tip that I did order to use these. Um, fits on any pretty much standard soldering iron that I know of. But it's got just a, I don't know if you can see it, it's just got like a little flat thing. 
So I use a, a lot of the stuff that I design like for um, for businesses, like stands and things like that. I use these. And it's a lot easier to assemble parts. And they're a lot more sturdy because they're together with screws, not like tongue and groove things and glue. So I've got a lot of practice at this. I'm usually pretty good at it. Now, if I had sized the other holes right, it would take me just a couple of minutes to do everything. But because I'm a dumbass, Ooh, that's a little off there. The good thing is I made these holes deep enough that I can run two if I need to. So if I screw up the first one, second one's on the way. And of course it would help if I had more light in this room, which I don't. And I don't feel like wearing my nerd glasses with the light on them. There. See how easy that was? That was the easy ones. Now, I'm gonna see if my theory will work for this. So I busted out some M4 screws and it looks like it should work. So wish me luck. Oh shit. Oh, did I say that out loud? I think it's gonna work. Hi buddy. Hi buddy. Before I get too excited, I'm just gonna try a couple. Now, luckily, it's not like these have to be like jammed, like so crazy tight down. It just has to hold the back on. Now, theoretically, if all else fails, I can screw this, I can just glue this part on because I don't need access to it. I just need access to the back of the feet or the legs, whatever. So yeah, so uh, I think this is gonna be a go. Just to make sure I'm not stupid enough to grab some of the wrong size, like that looks like it is. All right. Yeah, that's an M5. So, same principle, except that stays a lot hotter a lot longer.
Hi, baby cat. Hi, baby cat. You know I'm soldering, right? This is the hot thing that makes you burn. He doesn't really care. Because it's me that'll get burned, not him. Because I will protect this little monster with my life. Hi, Ty. You're gonna make me burn myself. Hey, uh, 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 uh. Oh boy. And we're done. And he's gone. Excellent. It worked. I did uh, have a couple other issues that I realized I did not have enough of certain screws and whatever, I really thought I did, but you know, COVID, whatever. Um, so it's all good. I have enough stuff. So now let's build. All right, so these two guys are literally just gonna fit in together like so. And I have my two little, uh, are these the right size ones? Mm. I'm gonna go with longer ones. I have like a bajillion screws. They're very important to have around. I'm sure you all know that. All right, here we go. So I'm basically gonna screw this, these guys in. I probably could use my drill, but I'm not gonna. Oh, wait. This piece. There we go. All right. That's just for strength. All right. Now we'll do it. I'm clearly gonna speed up a lot of this. You don't need to see me sitting here turning this thing over and over again. All right, so now I'm hoping that once the deck cover is put on, this won't matter. And once I get the back put on, that won't matter either. So worst case scenario, I'll design another quick thing to screw these guys together. That's worst case scenario, but I think we'll be okay. So here we go. Here's this. Do I have any more supports on here? No, I don't. All right. No, we had supports on one. There we go.
There we go. I think we're all support free now. All right. So now, I guess I can actually put this together. And let me grab all these guys. Okay. You may have noticed this can sitting over here. This is my Instant Bond. This is my favorite thing ever. Little super glue, little Instant Bond. Nothing moves ever. All right, so let me get it so it's actually flat on the table properly. Get a couple in here and line them up. Then I'll get the rest of them going. All right, so pretty simply, I'm gonna do this. And this. And push that in there like that. Stuff's a little smelly but my God, it works. I use this when I'm building all the transformers just because it makes my life easier and I can put them together instantly. All right, there we go. So same thing. And I've learned I always print an extra one of something stupid like that. All right, so now we should be good. Where'd I put them? mine though it's okay okay I just realized I can't do that you guys are gonna have to bear with me because I vape oh not blood now we got to start building everything else because these have to go together So, I need this box. I think this box. We'll see. So, like I said, I already drilled this. I don't think I'm going to need any more, but I might. And if I do... My drill is down by my feet.
One down. So I'm going to be smart and go in this way. I hope you can see what I'm doing. If not, this would be really boring. All right, now we get that done. So here we go. So far, we're okay. So now that's on, we can put the back piece on. And let's hope everything stays and works. Remember, I'm accommodating for sizes of things I didn't expect to be sized the way they're sized. I'm going to end up going short a couple of screws and I'm okay with that because I'm a dumbass and use the wrong ones, which I had plenty of. And now I'm using ones that I did not have plenty of. All right. All right. Next, I'm going to put in the speakers and... All right, so I'm using uh, 16 gauge, 18 gauge, sorry, speaker wire. I bought 14 gauge just because I wanted to have really rugged wire. Way too big for the board and for the speakers, to be honest. So I said, screw it, I'm gonna use 18. So right now, I just wanna figure out how long this has to be. So that's going right there. Wow, this has a little bit of me inside there, a little, uh, little blood. So this doesn't have to be long at all. And I don't feel like busting out my soldering iron, so I'm not gonna. And the way these speakers are designed, it's actually pretty cool. I don't really need to solder them. So, let me find, there's my color. And if I need to solder them, it's easy enough to open the back and solder them. Okay. And then I gotta go from here. Through here. And like I said, if I need to solder them, I will. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. 
Alright. Really plenty of room. Alright, so now right side, positive, negative. Left side, on the other end. Ooh. Hi, Tiger. <coughs> hey, buddy. Hi, Tiger. You know I'm doing stuff, right? Right, buddy? Okay. Now, we just gotta screw the board in and I left plenty of wire. I don't want any like stretching or anything crazy and this doesn't feel like it's tight enough. Might be, might not be. Hi, Ty. He's very interested. He's been watching me make this for weeks. This did take, my God, even with multiple machines going, this took, wow, almost two weeks to print. Hi, baby. You excited? I'm excited. I've been waiting to build this for a long time. All right, wiring is done. Let's move on. Ooh. Yeah, let's not stick our fingers in the holes anymore because the speakers are in there. Hi, Tiger. Thanks, buddy. All right, so let's put on some of the features. Oh, hi, some of the features. So very simply, just a little bit of glue. These are press fit. So I'm not really worried about them coming out, but Hi, I gotta spray this stuff. Thanks. I think I might need another glue, because that's always the way I, my life is. <sighs> I have more glue. Okay, so now, uh, this technically is press fit, but I do want it to just make sure it stays in there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. All right. So now this is going to be the key right here to keeping this guy in line. And it looks like it's doable. So this is gonna be a challenge. Oh, hi, he's back. I'm gonna spray this over here. We're really getting there. I'm getting excited now. All right, so let's try to put them all together. Okay, so the way I did this, 
is these guys move up and down, okay? So let me, let me make some space here. Actual blaster is about to fall. Okay, so, and then I just need these little screw guys. They're just kind of caps. Just to hold it in place. So that way it only comes up so far. Originally, I was gonna just do like a post and glue it in, but then I figured, hey, if it ever breaks and I need to pull it apart, no big deal. I can just pull it apart. Okay. We got these. Hi, Tiger. Let me, let me move some of these things. I really don't need all these things anymore. All right, so what we're gonna do is move this. So I'm gonna put this face down and hopefully you can see it. I think you can really just see more of my floor than anything else. That really sucks. Yeah, now that I just noticed that, that's amazing. <sighs> okay. So I'm going to just kinda put that there. This is the only part that really actually is a pain in the balls. Because these are all tied to each other. And then we hope all these fit. And now by doing it this way and not gluing everything and only gluing like the, you know, the body parts really, um, I left myself open. So if I decide I wanna use, uh, I wanna add a battery at one point or whatever I can or if I need to change a part, I can change that one part. He's still at it over there. Hey, buddy. You tearing up that box? Good boy. Yeah, that's my little shithead. I do have other M4s, I just really wanted to use these kind. He's very chatty.
Time for some feet. If you've never used this instant bond, it's amazing. I have mail. And I need more glue. All right. Now, before I put the grills on, I want to give it a listen. Here we go. It's connected. Hi. Okay, so it looks really cool. Maybe it doesn't sound amazing, but I can get better speakers. Um, I thought these actually were pretty decent, but they had good reviews. Live and learn. It's easy enough to get speakers the same size, so that's cool. But I'm really happy with the way it came out. It was a ton of work. It was totally a passion project. Um, as you know, I am a Transformers freak. Look around. And uh, yeah, so anyway, that's about it. I'm gonna put these, uh, these guys on now. Actually, I will do that. And there's a cat. And there's Blaster. I'm really happy with the way he looks. Uh, I wish he sounded better. But, you know, you can't win them all. It was a lot of work. The design time was crazy. Uh, and uh, it wasn't even the designing this. It was designing the inside to make everything fit and do all that stuff. It took all the hard work. Um, I loved it. In fact, I loved it so much, I already started Soundwave. So I haven't started printing him yet. I'm still kind of working out the guts and how he fits together. But Soundwave's next. Um, and again, uh, keep an eye on the channel. Actually today, I didn't even change obviously, but I did today I shot uh, the, or I finished shooting the Photon Mono and the Photon Mono X video. I posted that today. Hopefully I'll edit this video tomorrow and get this up too and uh, kind of get caught up because I've missed a lot of stuff lately. So anyway, this is Chris from Versus 3D. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope I got enough footage from both angles that I can piece this together and uh, until next time which is going to be Transformers more Transformers uh, peace out